Okay, so we're back in the bunker. We're, we're in the, the temporary water. Um, I need you to imagine, though, that what you can see is the entire bunker. Um, so within the, that, there is nowhere within the bunker that I can get complete relief um, from this temporary water. Um, and it's also not near the hole. Up there, I could get complete relief, but that's nearer the hole, so I can't use it. So here, what you can do then in that situation is find your point of maximum available relief. So quite possibly over where that yellow ball is, um, that I can get relief, I can get the ball out of the water there. Um, my feet though, if I'm playing it, will still be in the water there, but it's the maximum relief I can get. So I can use that then, use that place as my reference point um, and, and drop within the club length from there. Um, now, you know, if you can get some really awkward places that you've got to drop when you're in a bunker. Uh, maybe standing outside the bunker, but with the, um, you know, the ball well below your feet because it's in there. But that's um, just unfortunate. Um, what's perhaps even worse, if, you, if the whole bunker um, is full of water, um, completely unplayable, you can't play your ball out of it. The only way you can get out of that bunker is by taking penalty relief, by, by taking the um, relief drop back outside the bunker under one penalty stroke, back on line, um, mark a point and then one club length either side of that point. Um, so that's, that's unfortunate, uh, unless the greenkeeper's taken the bunker out of play, uh, you can't get out without um, actually having that penalty stroke. Of course, that back on line option, if the only place that you are allowed to drop is really awkward, um, that back on line option perhaps should be considered anyway. So that's back on line with a penalty stroke. 